The Titan Gods are a topic that I've not really discussed in too much detail on this channel, and a lot of you have asked me to make videos on them, and I can completely understand why. There is a host of information out there on the primordial deities and the Olympians, the generations of gods that came before and after, but the Titans seem to suffer from middle child syndrome almost. Information on them is a lot more scarce and unreliable, but that does mean more is left to the imagination. Today we'll be taking a look at Coius, the titan of intelligence and resolve. Coius' name, roughly translated, means questioning, as he was regarded as the god of the inquisitive mind and intelligence. When Cronus castrated his father, his brothers held him in place. Their father was so big that the brothers were personified as four pillars located on each corner of the earth. Coius was regarded as the pillar of the north, or the northern pole on the celestial axis. The Romans referred to Coius as Polus, which is also associated with the Northern Pole. Coius and his siblings were regarded as the Elder Titans, meaning the first generation, children of Uranus and Gaia, and he was married to Phoebe, the Titaness of Radiance and Prophecy. Like quite a few of the other Titans, Coius didn't have a large role in Greek mythology, but his children and grandchildren, however, most certainly did. Coius and Phoebe gave birth to Lelantos, the Titan of the Air, Leto, the Titan goddess of motherhood, which would make Apollo and Artemis Coius' grandchildren, and finally they bore Asteria, the Titaness of fallen stars, which would also mean the goddess Hecate was his granddaughter. Both Phoebe and Coius were thought to have ties to cosmology and astrology, and it's something we can see they passed down to their children and grandchildren, Artemis and Hecate having close links to the moon, and Apollo being passed down the gift of prophecy. There are some accounts that believe the success the Titans had in the War of the Olympians was down to Coius, being the wisest of the Titans and with Cronus defeated, it's likely that his intellect and gift of prophecy meant that Coius could have easily assumed the role of leader or chief strategist during the war. But despite his best efforts, the Titans would eventually lose the war, and Coius and his brothers and sisters would be banished to Tartarus. There are tales of Coius attempting to escape Tartarus, breaking his chains and freeing his brothers and sisters. Their plan came to a halt when they reached the gate, and saw it was guarded by Cerberus and the Hydra. Unable to defeat Cerberus and the Hydra, the Titans would remain in Tartarus at Zeus's behest. I'd love nothing more than to give you an in-depth and detailed analysis of Coius, but there isn't much information about him. To me, Coius was one of the first intellectual deities in Greek mythology. His association with the celestial axis and the heavens meant that he was seen as possessing the power of prophecy, and that coupled with his intellect creates an extremely powerful god, a god that I wish had been developed more. As sad as it is that we don't know much about Coius, in his grandchildren, Artemis, Apollo and Hecate, we have some truly fascinating figures that do share some of their grandfather's qualities. If I had to compare Coius to one of the more well-known gods and goddesses, I'd say his pragmatic approach and inquisitive nature reminds me of Athena, and maybe Coius was an influential figure for the ancient Greeks during the creation of Athena. I know this video isn't particularly long, but mentions of Coius are few and far, and there isn't much else I feel I can say, but I'd like to hear what you guys think. Does Coius remind you of any other deities? Were you aware that he was the grandfather of Artemis, Apollo and Hecate? Or was he another deity that you didn't know existed? I look forward to hearing from you in the comments below. As always, I've been your host, Mythology and Fiction Explained.